piece is just not enough. Hey everybody, it's Mickey here, Mr. India again. Thanks for joining me. Got a special project and we're going to be working on the GTC4 Lusso Ferrari. So what are we going to be doing? Well, over a year now, I've been trying to find a way to upgrade the sound system. The stock sound system from Ferrari, There's not the JBL, the standard sound system, has just been missing a little bit of bass. And it's been a long time of trying to find a way of putting a subwoofer in the car without it occupying the, uh, the luggage space in the trunk or being too intrusive. So luckily, by chance, I was down at Bobby's at Santa Rosa Winterton and he introduced me to Troy from 12 Volt. And Troy does custom audio work and he's mobile as well. And he's been doing it for a long time. And I've asked him to come down and see what he can do for us. So let me just introduce you to Troy and he'll tell you what his company and he does. Hi Troy, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Uh, so I'm a custom car audio mobile service that can uh, basically do any of your 12 volt needs, including uh, custom boxes, custom work, um, integration into OEM systems, and I'm actually am collaborating with Amoebic Applications that does uh, 3D printing as well. So we're going to be uh, getting into this uh, vehicle right now and uh, trying to figure out uh, a nice, clean way to get him some bass. Awesome. So that's Troy. So what exactly is the problem I'm facing in the GTC? Let's have a look in the car, what, what the issue is I'm facing. Let me just open it up. So I would like to have a subwoofer put into the trunk of this vehicle here, into the back of the uh, GTC4 Lusso. And the challenge is, I don't want to occupy the whole space that whole space because I've seen many custom jobs where they take up most of the trunk space and what Troy's going to do for me today is really I've asked him to look at this space here it's quite a deep space here can we fit an 8 inch sub into that space so Troy tell us how will you do this for me so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to scan the contour uh, this is a very new technology uh, when it comes to car audio and the reason being is because everyone does a fiberglass box fiberglass is a really messy um, and you kind of just have to tape everything off in the vehicle what we're going to do with the scanner is we're actually going to tape off the section that we're going to be scanning and get the contours of that whole area and then build a face for it in uh, the CAD world and uh, basically it eliminates all of the dirty and um, everything that comes with doing a fiberglass box. And will this be, um, will I be able to pull the sub in and out easily? Yes, of course. Uh, you're gonna be able to pull it out as you wish. Um, I'm actually going to put a little terminal cup in the back there. So when you do unplug your subwoofer, you're actually gonna be unplugging it from the body and not from the box, leaving a wire. Awesome. So. Stage one is really, uh, Troy's come down here to, I guess, scan the space uh, and get the 3D printing going. And how long does the 3D printing take? So, 3D printing, it really depends on how big the object is. Um, it can take anywhere from three hours all the way up to days. Um, something like this that I'm going to be doing a one-piece box. I don't want to do a two-piece to keep all the acoustics and everything proper. Something like that's probably going to be closer to a week of a print time. Um, but you get everything accurate into the dimensions that you want with no um, uh, change in um, when you put the fiberglass in or something like that. You get warpage sometimes and you have to add more and do things like that. This is exact to the measurements and you can get the volume of the sub correct as well, which is a very big importance to get very good sound quality. Awesome. So, without further ado, this is stage one. Um, let's uh, let's watch um, how Troy gets this scanning done. Over to you, Troy. All right. So I'm gonna have my uh, assistant Greg right here. He's gonna come in and he's gonna tape off the whole entire area with blue painters tape because that's what actually picks up the best when you do the scan. As you can see, 
can see the um, the scanning surface has now been prepped. And over to Troy to explain what happens next. Okay, so now that we're prepped, I have opened up the Sense program, and basically, as you can see right here, is it's ready to scan. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Start Scan, and uh, we're just gonna slowly, basically, just go across and scan that whole contour. You'll notice that everything that we're scanning is going to turn into like a green color and that means that it was successful in the scan. your whole tri corner right there. Good job, Troy. All that blue area. And it actually picks up everything. So any colors, except for black so much, but and when you actually finish the scan off, it'll actually give you like real time like an actual photograph. So if you have multiple colors and stuff in here that we need to address, it'll pick all that up and we can model it in the CAD world but that's a perfect scan and um, basically it's just ready to go into the computer and and uh, get a sub face put on it awesome so that's phase one the scan done um, watch this space next scene will be the printing I guess <laughs>